What's up, guys? So this is the new DLC pistol, the nine millimeter sap. I caught it. I got it. Gold chrome, gold slash chrome. And this is a uh, it's a gameplay of me running around with Duelist, because fucking Duelist is pretty goddamn savage as fuck. But anyways, the du I don't know. The Duelist is the best on the POHs. It's not. It's not that good on the 1911s. Not that good on the machine pistol because it just fires too fast. But the PO8s and this 9mm sap, the, the duelist shines. And uh, it, it's it's just amazing. I mean, I'm running steady aim as my per, I mean, my attachment on the pistol. Of course, you gotta run steady aim or else the hit fire is just way too big. Uh, I, I got some pretty crazy long shots with this with this uh, this 9mm sap. I don't know the actual numbers on the damage, but I feel like up close it's super strong. But once you get to a certain distance, it's like a freaking hit marker machine. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know the actual numbers. I should actually look this shit up and fucking tell you guys about it. But that's what other YouTubers are for. You know what I mean? Like, I come here for the feels. You don't come here for stats and numbers. You come here for feels. And this feels like a shittier version of the POA, <laughs> to be completely honest. Um... Uh, it's, it's not that great. I've seen, you know, that's what's so weird about when new DLC weapons come out. Like, you see all these guys come out with videos like, oh my god, it's so great. It's so amazing. It's it's not. The only DLC gun that came out so far that's actually really good is that Volkstrom Gewehr. Like, the, that Orso isn't that great. It's like a shittier version of the Thompson. And these, these pistols aren't that great either. They're like the shittier version of the P08. So I just don't understand why people, I, I don't know if it's just for fucking views and whatnot, but it's, it's not, you, you don't, it, you don't, you won't be missing out if you don't get it, you know what I mean, like it's not even that fun to use, it's just, it's like, it's the same thing as a POA, it just looks different, it's like a reskin version of it, almost, it has like the same amount of bullets, it fires the same, the recoil feels almost the same, so, yeah, I don't think there's anything special about it. And uh, just like the other DLCs, you know, it, the only thing, like I said again, in so many other videos, like, f just buy the Volkstrom Gewehr. That thing is gonna get nerfed 100%. It's it's gonna get nerfed. It's so good, it's gonna get nerfed. Just That's the only one, if you have armory credits saved up, you should just outright buy that thing with armory credits. Um, or just grind out on your contracts. Just try to do all your resistance contracts, hopefully you get lucky. But... Yeah, not it's nothing. No gun is good enough to spend money on this game. If that makes sense, like I, I don't think you should ever buy supply drops in this game. They make it so easy for you to acquire them in the first place, and then getting armory credits is that system is a lot easier. Yeah, so just I I don't think you should buy any supply drops in this game unless you have the money and you you fucking balling out of control and shit. But yeah, I, I don't know. Like these these DLC weapons, they're cool. It's it's a new change. It gives me something to do to get it gold and get all my guns chrome. But other than that, I mean, I'm not going to use these guns. I'm not going to use any of these guns. You know, like, even the first two, the, the first DLC, I think, had the gear as a shit, shittier version of the M1A1, right? The gear had the, uh, that LMG, the GPMP, I'm pretty sure what it's called. That thing sucks fucking so much ass. It is terrible. They had that. Then they had to stand, which was okay, right? It was like, it was, I would say it's top five submachine gun. It's not the best, it's not the best, it's not the worst. I would say like top five, maybe. Mediocre, just like the Orso, it's mediocre. Everything they're coming out with the DLCs are pretty mediocre, except for that folks trunk of there. But I'm actually pretty happy they're not like making some crazy ass guns like back in the day. Whereas like the DLC guns were so much better. Like remember had the... The Marshals in Black Ops 3, the, the Peacekeeper in Black Ops, what was that? The Peacekeeper first was in Black Ops 2, I believe. That was a pretty decent DLC weapon that they came out with. Um, yeah, any of the Black Ops 3 ones were all pretty decent. I didn't play Infinite Warfare, so I, I wouldn't know. Uh, Modern Warfare Remastered they came out with, those guns are actually pretty decent. So I like how they're stepping it back where these DLC guns, they're not that good. They're really, they're not that good. They're just, they're just there to have something, to add more variety. I feel like these guns should have already been in the game. You know what I mean? But they just kind of 
they kind of gave it as freaking DLCs to make you feel like we're giving you something for free. It's like, no, bitch. That probably should have been in the game already. And they're just kind of releasing it now after the fact. And hopefully they'll make money off of it while people buy supply drops. That's just my opinion. But look at this. The one time I put a fucking Betty down, it actually does something for me. I fucking love it. I should start putting these down all the time. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I just kind of rambled on for a bit. And yeah. These things are, these things are, you know, the only way you can do decent with these things is if you, if you run Duelist. I mean, solo, these pistols solo are pretty garbage. Um, I would still pick the PO8. I'll still pick the three pistols of, of the, above this. I mean, I like the 1911. It's a nice two-shot. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. Deuces.